I thank you all for coming today. It's, um, it is an auspicious occasion. We're announcing uh, the second of our uh, Commonwealth Games uh, squads today. We've, uh, uh, and no doubt one of the first, of course. And uh, we're very, very, very fortunate to have uh, what I believe is a very, very sound and uh, uh, a solid squad that uh, has, has a great uh, capacity for success in Glasgow. And uh, there are 10 medals to be contested. Uh, of which we'd love to win all 10, but uh, certainly we have a we have a view that uh, they will be successful, and uh, we're certainly going to support them in every way. I thank Bowls Australia for uh, uh, for their preparation of the athletes and uh, and their nominations, which they've done. Uh, these athletes and the, and officials have now been appointed to the team, and uh, from this up this period on, they will be getting ready for the games, which are start and commence on the on the 23rd of July. Uh, in Glasgow. What I'd like to do firstly is to uh, name the uh, athletes and officials that are in the team and then uh, after that uh, call up the uh, three of the athletes and the coach that are here and present them with their uh, uh, symbol of their, their team membership today which uh, they can then uh, proudly wear at other times when they're, uh, when they're doing various things relating to the team. Uh, firstly, the women that have been chosen and uh, just before I do, just we're, we have uh, um, the four events that are in the singles, pairs, triples, and, and fours that will be competed in, and uh, which uh, we also have two uh, events for athletes with a disability, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. First, we have uh, Lindsay Clark, uh, who is from uh, Helensville Club in Queensland. Kelsey Cottrell, St. John's Park Bowling Club, New South Wales. Karen Murphy, Cabramatta Bowling Club, New South Wales. Carla Odgers from Layler Bowling Club here in Victoria. Natasha Scott from the Raymond Terrace Bowling Club in New South Wales. So those are the five uh, able-bodied women. The men are Matthew Flapper from Ocean Grove Bowling Club in Victoria. Nathan Rice from Helensville Club in Queensland. Wayne Rudiger from the Grange Bowling Club in South Australia. Aaron Sheriff from the Edelong Memorial Bowling Club in New South Wales, and Brett Wilkie from the Helensville Club. Those are the five able-bodied men. The uh, four, the five athletes, and two uh, two directors in the uh, Australian Commonwealth Games Lawn Bowls Parasport team. The first for the vision impaired mixed pairs. It's uh, Joy Foster from the Chemside Bowls Club in Queensland, and Tony Scott from the Racecourse Bowls Club in Victoria. Uh, Joy has a director who is Bruce Jones, and Tony has a director who is Peter Scott. And the bowlers with a disability for the triples are Anthony Bonnell from the Club Pine Rivers Club in, Queen in Queensland, uh, James Reynolds from the Tassara Beach Bowling Club in New South Wales, and Tim Slater from the Victoria Bowling Club in Victoria. The team officials, uh, which will go with these athletes to the uh, games, are the section manager is Peter Brown. The national coach is Steve Glasson, and Steve will speak to you in a few minutes. The assistant coach is Robert Dobbins, and the parasport coach is Gary Willis. And the team, team manager is Gwenda Luke. Now, what I'd like to do now, yes, let's have a little bit of clap. What I'd like to do now is to, um, is to call the three members of the team that are here uh, up on the that is of the athletes and also the coach in just a second to come up and receive uh, their top, which uh, you can either put on now or put on later. It's up to you. Well, probably put up put yeah put it on. We'll have some photos later. Okay. Uh, so the first uh, uh, we'll do this in opposite. But we'll ask we'll ask Matthew Flapper to come up first, and I'll give him the top. Perfect fit, Matthew. Congratulations. Just stand, uh, just stand uh, right, right here. I'm stage manager, everything here. Uh, I'd like also to uh, 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 to introduce Carla Odgers. Carla, if you come up. Congratulations, Carla. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. You don't even, very young bowler, very well. <laughs> and also I'd like to uh, introduce, of course, the, the captain, uh, Lindsay Clark. Thanks, Lindsay, for coming. Thank you very much. 
Right now, if I could uh, call up uh, Steve Glasson, who's the national coach. He's also been in our uh, teams before, someone that it's, uh, we know very well, and we're very pleased with his uh, contribution in this preparation of this team, and uh, someone we're no doubt looking forward to and his, uh, his capacity to gain success in, uh, no, no pressure, Steve, um, in, uh, in Glasgow. Steve? Now we invite Steve to say a few words and we'll leave it from there. Thanks, Barry. Uh, yes, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon now, should I say. But um, it's a very exciting day for uh, lawn bowls in Australia and, of course, the, the uh, future endeavour of the Commonwealth Games team going to Glasgow later this year. Uh, this team is a culmination of at least two years' uh, significant preparation following our World Championships in Adelaide in 2012. And I've got to give uh, a great deal of credit to all of the, uh, the athletes involved. Of course, those that have been successful in selection, including the three that stand with us here today, and all those that went through the rigorous and vigorous uh, trials and tribulations of, uh, of camps and trials, they're also to be congratulated. So here's to a wonderful and highly successful Commonwealth Games in Glasgow later this year. We're, uh, we're really building up now. We've got a lot of work to do between now and then to ensure our success. And uh, I know all for well being uh, directly involved in the program that the players and staff are very much up, up for this. So we thank you for your support and, uh, and we look forward to further support from everybody once we hit the shores of Scotland in 2014. Thank you very much. And now we've got a, little, a bit of a Q question and answer point at this point in time and then I'll talk to you a little later. Andrew? Uh, thank you, Perry. Yeah, we'll just have a chat to some of these athletes, particularly um, Lindsay and maybe even Steve again, just uh, on the back of uh, their uh, arrival here in uh, in Melbourne today and obviously our two Victorian players who have joined us this morning. So first of all, we'll have a chat to Lindsay Clark, the uh, Australian captain. Come in, Linz. Thank you. Um, your third games now. I'm sure that the, uh, the announcement or the notification of your selection was equally as exciting as the first two times. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a big thrill to be announced in any Australian team, but the Commonwealth Games uh, is just a pinnacle for our sport. and. Um, yeah, big thrill. I was quite nervous uh, waiting for the announcement, uh, but it was all positive this time and um, testament, I think, to how we've worked together as a squad and trained really hard and been really dedicated. And yeah, I feel for my mates that have missed out, but uh, we've got such a great team going to Glasgow. I'm sure we'll do them proud. What about that process of uh, trials and camps and I suppose the intense nature of selection? I mean, the, you know, the, the 12 or 13 don't go into five very evenly for the girls <laughs> particularly. So about that camaraderie and the and the preparations for all the times you've got together it's um it, it's a really intense program yeah definitely it's um probably the toughest part of our sport is the selection process and getting down to the nitty-gritty and, and the last few events we've had have been um quite full-on but uh, as i said we've all been good mates and we all support each other and we feel for each other probably more so when we're not selected so um yeah it was just a big thrill i think we've had a couple of messages from people just wishing us all the best whether they're in or whether they're not so uh it's just been it's been a lot of hard work but um we're only sort of halfway there now we've we've done the hard bit of getting selected but uh the next job is to go over there and win some gold medals for australia i know we've probably got some people watching from uh, the uk on our live stream this morning tell us a little bit about the conditions that you expect you've been over there um, we've been over there before to play on the on the UK conditions. What do you expect? And we've had some great preparations here in Australia al along those lines. Yeah, definitely. I've played in the UK uh, previously, and the greens are uh, probably polar opposite to our greens here in Australia. Um, but in saying that, we've been training on similar surfaces. We've had great green keepers at uh, Maribyrnong Park and Trelgan Bowls Club, Ocean Grove, that have had uh, greens designed for us to play on and uh, get us prepared for those conditions. And it's going to be slow and the UK countries are great over there, but um, we'll be right up for it and we'll be prepared and we're going to go over there early and do the hard work and uh, hopefully be in good stead for the Aussies. And on a personal note from you coming from Club Helens Vale, uh, the recent Premier uh, <laughs> Division winners in Queensland, but great for uh, for your teammates, Brett Wilkie and Nathan Rice to be part of the team as well. Yeah, I'm so thrilled um, for our boys and, and feeling for one other, Mark Casey, who missed out today. but. Um, our club is so supportive and uh, they really look after us and they allow us to, to be committed to this program as much as we can be and um, hi to all the crew back home and thanks for your support. Um, yeah, I'm sure the, the club will be really proud and uh, supporting all the Aussies so it'll be awesome. Well, good luck to you leading this team over to Glasgow in July. Thank you, it's an awesome team to lead so I'm pretty excited. Lindsay Clark, the Australian captain, will uh, we'll ask Matt to come in, Matt Flapper from the Ocean Grove Bowling Club. Um, our two Victorian reps here this morning are both debutantes in this uh, in this Commonwealth Games team for 2014. Matt, again, to you, uh, the road to this point um, has been long and arduous, not only from a training camp point of view, but personally. Uh, how was that that uh, 
phone call or email that you got to, to notify yourself that you're in the side? Yeah, no, it was amazing, mate. It, um, it's certainly something that I dreamed about. Um, I didn't think it would ever ever come to fruition, but um, very humbled and very privileged to be given the opportunity to wear the green and gold, especially uh, at this level of Commonwealth Games. You've been overseas before wearing the green and gold for Australia, but just, I suppose, put into context those travelling uh, expeditions as opposed to this, and you haven't got there yet, but uh, I'm, I'm sure your mind's ticking over about planning for this uh, I think, no matter, I think no matter what you, you get picked in or selected to play in, uh, you give your all um, for Australia. And But I suppose when you look at it, the Commonwealth Games is the pinnacle and it's the event that everyone wants to play in. So you set your sights on that and uh, just lucky enough that it, it's, it's come through and uh, I've got that chance. What about your club? There was an um, international event there uh, late last year. I suppose preparing the team and the entire squad for, for UK conditions down there at Ocean Grove and uh, that certainly no doubt played into your hands a little bit. Yeah it did, it was good um, when that first came about that uh, we were going to host the Malaysians. Um, the Greens were sort of prepared you know, to replicate Scotland conditions so as Lindsay said earlier that um, Traralgon did the same thing and, and also Maribyrnong Park but uh, you know when you, you got the chance to wear the green and gold in your own backyard it's a pretty special moment. And um, the Trans-Tasman last week in Tarragon, again, similar conditions for both New Zealand and Australia to prepare for the Commonwealth Games. Um, we were sort of thinking there might have been a surprise packet potentially amongst the selections, but basically the Trans-Tasman teams come through and, and, and you know it, now it's our Commonwealth Games team. Well, I think all sides that played for Australia last week in Tarragon uh, performed very well. Um, so uh, as much as the uh, hard task of selection is, um, the guys all put their foot, best foot forward and certainly made it. You know, clear that they wanted to be the five that were standing here today. So um, full credit to them and everyone went about their job and, and were able to do that. We wish you well making your Australian Lawn Bowls Commonwealth Games team debut. Thanks, mate. Matthew Flapper from the Ocean Grove Bowling Club and Carla Rogers will ask you to step in. Carla, um, one of our youngest uh, representatives at just 23 years of age from Layla, again debuting at a, a Commonwealth Games. Tell us a little bit about your phone call or your email that you got from the national coach. Yeah, well, um, I missed it at first, but I eventually got to call him back um, in between working a little bit. But, um, yeah, it was, I didn't really know how to feel, and I'm still feeling a bit surreal at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's very exciting, and I can't wait to celebrate with my family, my friends, and my club at Layla. But, yeah, it's still sinking in a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your week last week. Um, obviously, it was a final audition for Commonwealth Games, effectively. Uh, your form in Tarragon at the Trans-Tasman and on those slow greens. Yeah, um, there was, I guess, a little bit of extra pressure at Tralgon knowing that it was part of the selection. But um, I did just try and forget about the Com Games, really, and just go out there and try and beat the Kiwis. That was the main aim of the week, and um, it seemed to work, obviously, pretty well. You've put a lot of time into your game over the recent sort of months and years to get yourself to this level. As I said, you're only 23. Just tell us a little bit about your journey to this point, um, <coughs> excuse me, and um, <coughs> how you got to, you know, to, to represent your country now at the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, um, I think probably the last couple of years I've um, really set my sights high on for the bowls and um, yeah, really knuckled down and put in a lot of work and um, yeah, it seems to have paid off pretty well. So um, yeah, all that hard work, I'm um, feeling good now. That's all been worth it, I guess. And what are you looking forward to the most when you jump on that plane uh, on about the 20th of July? Probably not the 20 odd hour flight, probably not looking forward to that, but um, I think just being uh, with all the other the sports and all the other Aussie players, like um, it's exciting to be a part of that and thinking about, you know, all the swimmers I'll see and all the <laughs> basketball players and yeah, I can't wait to be a part of that. Alright, wish you well and thanks for coming out today. Thank you. And we'll just call Steve in just for one moment, mate, just come in and join us. Thanks Andrew. As the uh, Head of High Performance here at Bowls Australia, again the process, we've spoken to the players, the process has been long and uh, stressful for you, but uh, nice to be on this end of it now, knowing that you've picked your uh, your uh, 17 players. Oh, most definitely. I mean, the players have been through hell and back, really. It's been torturous for them for you know the last 18 months, two years. So it's, uh, it is it is a slight relief, I suppose, to get to this stage. But um, at the same time, this is where we really ramp up the, the further preparations now. We narrow it down to just those athletes attending. So, um, you know, we've got some hard work for the next few months, and, and I know everybody's up for it, so we're looking forward to that challenge. And, and of course, you know, historically, Australians have, in bowls have performed maybe below par in the UK. So I think that's one of the most exciting and wonderful challenges we've got with this particular um, competition is that we're going there all guns blazing and we are the number one nation in the world so we'll take a lot of confidence out of that as well. You put a lot of emphasis into preparing on light conditions that you're going to experience wherever you go um, and that's been a, a, a theme right throughout from, uh, from the time this process started. 
Yeah, we've been very fortunate in the fact that we've had some clubs, uh, Maribyrnong Park, mm. Ocean Grove, Tyralgon, that have supported us wholeheartedly with uh, uh, Green's preparation to mirror the Glasgow conditions. So um, we're going to continue to use those facilities and uh, in particular Maribyrnong Park <coughs> for their support. It's been tremendous. So, um, And we had the Scottish Eight Nations last year as well, which was great. We actually stayed on after the event and, uh, and continue, continue to train for another week or so after that. So, um, you know, we're learning all the time. We've got to really change our techniques and, and change our way of thinking and that sort of thing. And the players are well in tune with that. So uh, it's exciting times. Now you've got your uh, your 17 players, and we'll touch on the para sport team in just a moment. But what do you do now between uh, p- you know, between now and the 23rd of July? What's the process with with this squad? Yeah, a lot of individual case management daily, and of course uh, some group camps and things like that. And we'll we'll uh, employ, I suppose, for want of better words, contractors, external contractors, to help us out with that as well. And uh, we'll use the best in the business um, to help guide these guys to. Uh, to playing at their best, which we know they're most capable of doing. So, Perry announced the Paris Sport team a little bit earlier, and uh, there are uh, five players and two directors for our vision impaired bowlers. Um, it's been great to have them part of the the high performance program for the last 12, 18 months. And if I may, I'll just send out a little cheerio to everybody at uh, um, Fitzroy Victoria Bowling Club today. I think they're on lunch at the moment. They're actually playing the Nationals at the moment. So, hi everybody. I hope it's going well there. But um, look, that's been one of the the great things about this program is having the involvement of the Paris Sport teams. Um, again, they've been highly competitive in their uh, in their trials for the for the side, and uh, and we're quite confident that we've got, you know, albeit from a, uh, a strong pool of athletes, um, a very formidable teams in both the vision impaired and the uh, the bowlers with the disability in the triple. So it's exciting, and I think we've learned a lot from them as they have from us. So it's a, it's a bit of both. We know you've lost some sleep over the last uh, few months in terms of selection, but on the back of the Trans Tasman in Chiragan last week, the domination. Um, across the board but particularly of the open team probably made you sleep a little bit easier Saturday Sunday night oh definitely I think um, you know there's a lot of pressure on the on the poor players you know to go out there they're constantly being critiqued and uh, and monitored so um, you know my heart bleeds for them I've been through it myself so I know how difficult that is and of course you know I congratulate our staff and our selection panel on their diligence as well to uh, to ensure that they've got uh, every box ticked and they've really critiqued these players to the utmost extent so um, well done you guys I mean it must be a relief for you it's, <laughs> it certainly is for us but um, you know as I say um, we're not resting on we're only relieved today um, first thing tomorrow we're back into business and looking forward to you know some fine preparation good luck and thanks for your time thanks Andrew thank you ladies and gentlemen I'll hand back to Perry now to uh, to close uh, the media call this morning but uh, that is our representatives here this morning Carla Rogers and Matthew Flapper both debuting for Australia at the Commonwealth Games the 20th Commonwealth Games in Glasgow and our Australian captain Lindsay Armitage please thank them for coming down this morning and also Steve Glasson and I'll hand back to Perry thanks Andrew um Players and coach, why don't you go and put your tops on because you're going to have to have some photos taken and I'll just talk a little bit about the Commonwealth Games. I won't talk about you while you're gone, but I'll talk about the Commonwealth Games. Um, bowls is uh, as its core sport of the Commonwealth Games. It's been in every game since 1930 with the exception of one games in 1966 in Jamaica. They must not have had a bowling green there at the time. But certainly a strong, strong Commonwealth Games sport. And, and if you look at the progress that the sport has made over the particularly the last probably 20 years, it, and you look at the uh, the um, uh, the, the uh, selections. With, they are true athletes. They uh, they have a, a total both physical and mental focus that they have to have to be uh, top class athletes. And uh, the sport itself is certainly at, at the high performance level, along with all of our other sports. Uh, while we're waiting for the uh, uh, athletes and coach to come back, and I hope the tops fit. Uh, are, I wanted to uh, just mention a little bit about the uh, Commonwealth Games. We're proposing to have. Um, a team of over 600, uh, about 425 athletes and 175 uh, team officials. Uh, it, it will be one of the largest teams we've ever taken overseas. Uh, we're, we're competing with full teams in, uh, in all sports uh, except athletics where it will be down only by a few because uh, you, we always set uh, a certain, certain uh, A and B standards in selecting uh, track and field athletes. But all the other sports, full teams uh, in, in, uh, in general terms. We'll have um, uh, uh, preparation happening all around the world, different places according to the sport. They'll all be going into uh, uh, the village at different times. So it's a very major logistical uh, uh, exercise. We are uniforming uh, both uh, formal and uh, uh, and, and uh, comp- competition uniform as well advanced and uh, uh, arriving hopefully very soon in Australia for distribution. Um, our whole, we have a, um, a uh, team management meeting in a couple of weeks' time 
uh, to set standards as to what, uh, uh, both from a verbal point of view, what is expected and what we propose to, uh, to do with our, um, our athletes as far as their uh, presentation, uh, both in the village and, and, uh, and certainly at, uh, in competition. Uh, the Commonwealth Games team itself is, a, is, we think, will have quite a few young athletes because we'll be looking towards Gold Coast in 2018. Some of the uh, younger athletes will be looking to go on to Gold Coast after, after Glasgow, and we'll certainly welcome that sort of thing to happen. We have selection trials for swimming uh, on the uh, 6th of April for track and field on the, on the same day. We'll be announcing a couple of days later, and also um, a, um, a, uh, um, a number of other sports which will flow from that, includes diving and, um, and uh, a triathlon, and I'm, I'm thinking of a few others within a couple of weeks. All right, uh, come back, come, come and show yourselves off. They're, uh, they're all here. They, they actually quite almost fit, don't they? Yeah. Good, well done. Good. Come up here around the dice. Randy? Uh, just around here. Now, very, very look, a well looked, uh, looking group there. <laughs> very well presented. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure the rest of the team will be as well. Um, uh, you are, uh, as I said, one of our advanced groups. We're looking forward to uh, uh, having you in, uh, in the village in Glasgow when you arrive and uh, certainly looking forward to your competition. So thanks everyone for coming. We'll have some, have some uh, photographs and group shots a little, uh, little later and uh, uh, certainly uh, um, interviews for individual as arranged. Thank you, uh, uh, Balls Australia. Thank you, Commonwealth Games Association. Thank you. Well <laughs> thanks, Barry. Thanks, Barry. Thank you.